up. You should have given me some warning. I don't have to give warning because I want to see my own son. My mates from childhood. We all grew up together. I'll cut the flannel. He's a real pig, Pete. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm violent with it. Oh, yeah, you've been playing around again. Oh, I trust you to say that. Oh, come on, Pat. You always had bedroom eyes. Blokes fancy me, always did. As usual, it's the woman that's to blame. Oh, yeah, Simon told me. Lots of uncles coming and going. And you believe him? He left home because he couldn't face up to the mess he'd got into. He didn't come clean about the money till I found out he'd tried pension from me. Got you to bail him out, though. Look, if you've just come here and stirred him up, I'm not listening. Me and him have sorted it out, so you keep your fat nose out of it, Pat. I'm down on my luck, Pete. I can't afford to walk out. Kids have grown up and they don't help. I'm too old to start again. I lost my figure, my good looks. But I reckon there's one or two who owes me, and now's the time to collect my debts. I've got to look after myself. Yeah, well, I've got this. Oh, not worth more than that. Look, you tricked me into marrying you. If I hadn't walked out, Pat, I'd have chopped you, I'd top myself. You've done all right since, Pete. Yeah, we're going collect it from the other suckers. Must be a list as long as you're home. Your brother? And leave my brother out of it, Pat. As you like. Yeah, and what about that red-headed Irishman? And Terry, remember, the one who worked on the buses? Half my mates. And what about your old mate downstairs? Oh, yeah? And what about him? You haven't got him now? No. I think I'll leave Den out of it. Give me great pleasure to get back at Den, though. Why? The way he treats Angie is disgusting. That's between them. And this is between us. I want 500, Pete, and then I'll leave you in peace. You what? There's nothing to a bloke like you doing well. But for me, that'd be a real step towards me independence. I think it's reasonable. Well, I think it's blackmail. How can you bring yourself to do it, Pat? You're acting like an whore. A whore? Oh, well, if that's what you think, you better pay for what you've had. Listen, Pat, you was my wife and I loved you. Ah, oh, you were flattered the sexiest girl in the street wanted to marry you. Think I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you? Big, thick and vain, all mouth. You promised me a good laugh, and what did I get? Two rooms, two kids, and one wet week in Weymouth. That was our marriage. I used to ask myself, how could that lump of lard make yourself believe I love him? Take the girl out of his farm, you wet All right, all right. All right. I'll let you off the hook, cos, boy, I've had you on it long enough. Simon's not your kid, Pete, get it? Oh, no. You're lying! I'm surprised he hasn't crossed your mind before. Tell me you're lying, Pat! Think of it. Next time you look in his eyes, who does he remind you of, oh, eh? Bitch, the bitch, the no, lying! Get off me, Pete! Get off! I've got a cab waiting. You know where to find me if you want me. 